during this time, Idubs was was being called the dreaded simp. Idubs is a simp. How am I the simp? How am I the simp? I ain't a simp. I I ain't Idubs. I if my girlfriend wanted to do OnlyFans, she's getting removed. Why are people calling you a simp? <laughs> I mean. I, I, <laughs> Thankfully, a lot of well-respected creators were here to defend him. We got guys like Vor. I was having sex with other kids. Mundane Matt. How in the fuck am I gonna be a dad? My biggest fear is that I'm not gonna feel anything towards the child. Bunty Kid. I'm a cock. <laughs> I'm a fucking cock, guys. Now these, these are the guys that you want in your corner. The unwritten policy was to sell the cocaine strictly to minority neighborhoods. Give me a second while I look up my little file of things I really don't give a fuck about. And here we have, under the letter N, we've got NIGGER! They just wanted to remind you that racism exists. Now we did eventually come to the conclusion that this was actually Lolly based on some digging we did on the account that originally posted it. But we were basically able to find translated tweets of the artist referring to it as a young boy. Which is also kind of funny in its own way because everyone was arguing about how it looked like a little girl and it was actually a boy. This is why I was asking the questions I was asking. We knew fuck all about the character that was depicted in this image, and yet judgment calls were being made about it. And I was just looking for a bit of clarification, just to be sure. Well, there you go. That's why you wait for all the information, because if Tipster had jerked off to that, he would have been gay. So he was right the whole time. This was not an argument that even I am equipped to tackle properly. What do you mean, what do you mean by that? Not even I am equipped for this child porn debate. You know shit's fucked when not even Tipster is equipped for the CP debate. Because he was one of my top three child porn guys. It was Tipster, Zero, and Jimmy Savile. And Savile's dead. Savile's dead, and now Tipster's lost his equipment. His child porn equipment. Now I have to rely on Zero, a notoriously unreliable person. He couldn't even fuck his kid. Imagine being a pedophile and failing to rape a child. It's like rape on easy mode. It's the level of disrespect. I don't know how she deals with it. It goes like, the level of dis- it goes like, Pokemon? L plus ratio? And then under that, it's like Holocaust survivor. <laughs> it's always easy to move to these kinds of audiences. Anyone can join the trans community, no matter how drunk or fucked up on coke. As long as you always agree with the transients, no matter what, you're fine. They don't care, you could be an actual pedophile. And most of them are. I wonder what my favorite YouTuber is up to. Just met this cute girl at a convention, seems cool. Hey! Hey! Excited to announce my loot on the van's launch. Don't you feel silly? Don't you feel stupid? <laughs> Don't you feel a little ashamed? I love my girlfriend, and I'm totally fine with dudes jacking off the pictures of her on the internet. Sounds like he's living the dream. I'd love that if my girlfriend was in bed next to me and she's she's scrolling through fucking gay porn and then she points at a guy, taps me on the shoulder and says, I'd rather fuck him than you. Her calling them mentally inferior is pretty funny coming from the same person who claimed that making videos was pushing him to the edge of her sanity. Everything can be boiled down to religion. Racism, sexism, homophobia, capitalism, government corruption, denying science, transphobia, that can all be traced to religion. Risk cutting is so stylish! Yay! 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 If you're wondering how the friendship between Keffels and Tipster came to be, it's very simple. Three hundred dollars, bro, I'm not playing my boy Tipster's horny as fuck over here. Oh, oh this nigger ain't even trying and shit, man. He's trying! He's trying, Keffels! He just needs some ass! Okay, turn around, let's see what we're working with. Turn around. Oh, we got ass son of all right! You can do the rump shaker, huh? Come on, dude! Do the tranny shaker! Like that, you stupid bitch! By pointing the finger at Hollywood and corporations in this manner, you attract people from all walks of life. You get the right-wingers. Yeah, I hate the woke media. You get the socialists. Yeah, these big corporations are so corrupt. You get the self-identified intellectual video essay creators. Ah, yes, the boys truly hold up a mirror to our own society. And then you get the apes. <laughs> One of the things I did agree with in the video was Ian talking about fulfillment and creating content that you could be proud of. Which, I felt worthless and shit for years, searching for my purpose. 
but I found it in the Make I Dub Say the N Word Again petition. Sign it now. Hey, look, I don't have to be told that Idubs fostered the community of Nazis. You know, I'm one of them. Looking through my backlog, I'm a real horrible cunt. I called a black guy that wore Teddy Fresh a brain dead Jeffrey Dahmer sex slave. <laughs> this fucking guy, man. This fucking guy. It's like a fucking Jeffrey Dahmer sex slave. I said that trans woman Jaden had a womb made from a plastic carrier bag. There she is, Jaden, testament to the human spirit. DIY transient. Cut their cocks into vaginas. Womb made from a plastic carrier bag. It was designed to carry, and it will carry, a child. All the way from conception to stillbirth. I said some horrible, horrible things about how you should treat women. Number one. Demonstrate your physical might. When you're approaching a woman, you want to show that you're a powerful alpha male that could smash in her skull at any time. Number two, lock down all the escape routes. You don't want the woman to think she can run, okay? Slip some shit in her drink, she's out of her fucking mind, causing a ruckus, okay? Gets put in an overnight cell, now's your chance. Shoot your shot, brother. When you get a girl back to your house, you really want her to feel like she's made a terrible mistake. Don't you think Idub should be punished for this? After concluding that the drama community is a toxic place, he has now decided purely for his mental health, of course, to relocate to the trans community. I'm a rapist, fucking dirty nigger. Well, dox myself. I want you to swat me. Hold on, hold on. Who wants my address? She also claims she's gotten a thousand miners hooked on bathtub chemicals. Oh no, four thousand actually. Which implies that Nat really did want images from what they believed was a 14 year old, and that Craze told them they were 12 instead of 14 after everything went down. I got the, I got the, I, I got the funny blue pills right here. You should eat them. They're yummy. They're nice. I think it's working. <laughs> what would you do if you were a doctor and that person walked in? <laughs> Get in my car. <laughs> <laughs> she doesn't have any ass though, does she? She's got some in. It's on the wrong side though. Why are you suing the Canada police? You should be suing them doctors. They put your ass on the wrong way around. I mean, obviously all the messaging goes out the window as soon as you realize the show is made by Hollywood and Amazon. So it's sort of like they're saying, yeah guys, we can have a laugh at ourselves, but I'm not going to stop exploiting you and I'm not going to stop raping your kids.